Hello, welcome to my channel. This is the Disgusting Beauty YouTube channel. I am Kevin Farr, and today we're going to be varnishing a painting. And uh, before you start varnishing a painting, uh, what I would recommend is clean up your studio. Uh, I just cleaned up in here and uh, vacuumed up all the dirt and whatnot because you don't want uh, a lot of dust or uh, pet hair. Uh, so you want to be in a room that's away from pets and as dust free as you can get it now. That's almost impossible uh, in my house, but I'm doing the best I can. I have some hair on my uh, uh, on my sweatpants, probably from my cats. Uh, today we're going to be varnishing a painting I did of my cats. Uh, Kermit and Dust Muppet. Kermit, Dust Muppet. Um, maybe I'll have them, uh, at the end, or if I edit an intro in, um, but yeah, anyway. Actually, I, I don't think I will, because when you varnish, you want to wait, like, three hours. You want to keep, like, anything that could possibly drop anything into it away from it for as long as you can. No fans running, nothing, just do it, get it over with, and get out. And that's what we're gonna do today. Alright. On with the video. Here we go. Uh, not quite a painting tutorial. Oh, I guess I have some uh, advice. I guess I have it on a platform. This is just a jewelry box that I've covered in aluminum foil protected. Not that I really care about protecting it. I just need something to like raise it up off the ground. Or off the table. And another thing we can do is uh, if you have one of these types of plastic uh, palettes, they're not really great for acrylic painting because acrylic paint dries really quick. Uh, so I do recommend stay wet palettes uh, or you can make your own out of a Tupperware and parchment paper and a sponge that you wet. I would recommend that. But if you don't have the money for it, a cheap and easy cleanup is just using tin foil and pressing it into these little wells. And then uh, when you're done painting for the day, just throw out the tin foil so then you don't have to clean up these pots because they're a pain in the ass to clean up. And a lot of beginner painters, and I was one, well, I still am, um, but a lot of beginner painters buy these and they're not really good for acrylic paintings. And here's why, it's because you can't keep it dry and it likes to stick to it. These are like a lot better for watercolors because like you got like you got your watercolor set, you can put like mixes in all these little water wells and fill it up with as much water as you want. And you can have like some maybe some muddy mixes in here. So it's perfect for that. But if you're on a budget and you don't have like a stay wet palette and you're okay with your paint drying every 25 minutes and having to change it out. Uh, this is a good method. You just put it on uh, these the uh, aluminum and it just makes for easy cleanup. It's a uh, it's a real uh, it's not you know it's not rocket science, but it's a little bit of ingenuity because I I've had trouble cleaning these palettes in the past. Uh, that it is possible you can scrub them, but takes a long time and it's not really worth the effort. So I save a lot of time and effort, like just cover it in foil. Anyway, on with the video. We're varnishing today. And all right, first we're gonna start by brushing off any uh, dirt or debris that might have been, uh, accumulated on the painting. I've already done it, but I'm gonna just do it anyway, just for posterity's sake. And I'll just give it a good, give it a bit of a dusting. Make sure there's no dust on your brush. Now this has been sitting for a while that had dust on it. And you can just, you know, just wipe it off on your hand, I guess. I don't know. So that's that. Actually, get a foam brush, and if there's any dust or anything that's accumulated on it, I'll just kind of, kind of bang it off on your hand, I guess. 
And today we're going to be using Liquitex Professional Gloss Varnish. Now you got to be careful, you don't want to shake this up at all because you'll get bubbles in it. And if you get bubbles in it, which I think we will, uh, there's a little technique method that I do where you blow onto the bubble and pop it. And then if it doesn't fill up with varnish, like if it doesn't self level, then just add a little bit of varnish into the little holes that you poke. So we're gonna go. Now do this gently. Don't pour it out willy nilly or fast. As you want you don't want any bubbles to be forming. And we're gonna put out a decent amount here. Now bubbles will inevitably form, but don't worry about it. So we're gonna start, we're gonna get, dip both sides of the brush in varnish. And we're gonna start in the center and work our way out at the very top. So. Yeah, you want most of it here on the center because you don't want too much on one side. And we're going to go back and forth. Get it in there. And it's a little bit milky, but don't worry, it will dry clear. And then you can take it and look under a, a light. I'm not seeing any bubbles forming, which is great. Now we're going to move on to the next section. We're going to just move down from where we were. Starting again in the middle and working our way out. Take a look at it under the light. Get under a good light. And blow on it. You gotta work fast. Now I'm not gonna put any more brush strokes in because we might get streaking happening. So I'm going to stop there because you don't, you want to just get it on and it will level itself out. You got to work, key is working fast. A little bit of varnish on my head, don't worry, just wash it off. But I'm gonna take another look at it. I'm surprised that it hasn't bubbled at all. That is great. So I'm gonna put a little bit on the edges. Okay, we're done. This is a disgusting beauty. Uh, I'm signing off now. I'm going to check for bubbles off camera. I'm going to blow because I need to see under a light. And that's the key. You can see by the light's glare over it because it's shiny. It'll be shiny. But after we're done, you want to wait three hours. Walk away from it. Don't, like, just clean your brush out of here and walk away. All right, and that's how you varnish a painting. Um, I might do another layer, but uh, I'm happy with it personally, and that's uh, what matters at the end of the day when you do a painting. So, we're gonna call it done. Um, anybody else, if you're not happy with it, just keep putting on uh, more layers and don't do too much though but yeah that's it all right